the German Jews had a deep shared unconscious shame then affected their behavior and an unconscious identification with the enemy because those German psychoanalysts, when they started developing their psychoanalytic institutions in this country, became very authoritarian, which persists to this day, and a reluctance to examine the authoritarianism in psychoanalytic education is a problem to this point, uh, something which I'm very glad to have spoken up against from the day as I, I became aware of it. Uh, in Great Britain, the British analysts who were not German refugees dealt very freely with aggression. The Kleinian movement dominant in Great Britain dealt with aggression freely. In the United States, the German psychoanalysts who were very influential, they were the silent ones. Culture also has certain influence. The acceptance of deep aggression as part of human being comes natural in European culture. In American culture, there is a tendency to deny the centrality of aggression. There is something about American culture that fosters a feeling that um, if you are not exposed to any excessive aggression, you'll be perfectly all right, everything will be fine. There is a certain denial of human centrality of aggression in American culture, which may have contributed to the attitude of the emigres who restarted psychoanalysis here. There has been a great difficulty in um, analyzing the aggression of patients, both in this country and in Germany. The non-Jewish German analysts there is a cultural uh, phobic attitude about aggression in German psychoanalysis because of that sense of uneasiness of the uh, savage nature of national socialism can go one step further and raise the question to what extent excessive vulnerability isn't a consequence of the projection of primitive aggression onto the other. So one feels attacked when one isn't attacked. And, and the other has to be very careful in, 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 in treating one because one is hypersensitive to being rejected, attacked, mistreated.